everybody. I wanted to show you um, and I'll give you an update on the greenhouse and what we've done. It's kind of messy in here, so ignore the mess. Um, we've been piddling around and making a mess in here, and Travis has been chopping wood. Um, <clears throat> this is an update on the greenhouse and um, the heater that we've built and the plants and the grow beds that we've done. Uh, the heater's done really good. Um, there is a little few things that we will change uh, when we do another one and um, that we will change soon probably when we update this one. Um, we use the chimney flue material and as you can see it um, it has cracked um, but it does a really it holds a really good fire and holds really good heat. Um, the bucket the the barrel that we used it's a 35 gallon barrel and it should have been a 55 gallon. This is what we had on hand and we didn't have to buy this one. So this is what we used. And uh, it does smoke a little bit out the flue at the top. Uh, and this is why we think we need a bigger barrel because it shouldn't smoke and you can actually see some of the heat coming out the top too. Uh, we did finish our grow beds completely. Uh, I know that I had shown y'all on the last video um, some of what we were doing but there's the grow bed and we've completely finished it we filled it um, all the way up or we filled it with sand as much as we could and then um, we decided that we wanted to do pea gravel we thought maybe the sand would not hold us heat as good as what pea gravel would so we went and bought um, a yard of pea gravel and put on top and it has done really really good not before last it was, uh, it dipped down into the 20s and Travis built a fire in the heater at 1030 was the last fire that he built. And um, he made, I'm sure you can see this, but I'm going to step back just a little bit. He made this cover to go over the top of the plants just to kind of trap in some of the heat because it was supposed to get down into the 20s. Um, so he put this little cover over the top of it, which was just some plastic and some scrap wood that we had. And um, came out there the next morning and it was 80 degrees inside this little contraption that we made right now i don't know if you can see that or not right now it's above 90 it's almost 100 degrees it's probably 97 95 96 um and i don't know if you can see that either but down below the rocks he's probably got that stuck in two or three inches and it's a hundred degrees in the rocks we've built one fire in here this morning and as i showed you just a few minutes ago that fire is completely gone out but um i've already started my plants um all my seeds that i got these three right there have uh, bell peppers and banana peppers in them and there are some of my tomatoes i had a pretty good germination rate um, <clears throat> so there is all tomatoes and this middle one is tomatoes and I got these tomatoes from um, Lowe's and they are doing there's a few there's a few of them coming up I'll, I'll raise it up just a little bit and let you see there's a couple right there and you can actually feel the heat coming out of this it's absolutely crazy um, there's more tomatoes and as I said before I have a lady in town that wants me to set up a produce stand and I called and asked her if it was okay for me to set up a stand to sell plants at and she said that that sounded really good she's right on the main highway in in town so as soon as all of these plants <clears throat> get planted to bigger um, pots then we'll start another um, another whole section of, of tomatoes and peppers again so this grow bed being hot kind of simulates a buying a, um, a heating pad for your plants to go on um, but anyways I wanted to let y'all know what we had gotten done and uh, how everything was working out and uh, so far everything has done really good um, I'll show you I've done several videos but I've not been able to edit them and upload them uh, that tank out there is for um, doing aquaponics in and hopefully in the next few months we'll get started on that 
after all these the garden gets in and after all these plants are sold hopefully <laughs> we'll start working on that and hopefully we can get that done pretty soon we've started cleaning up um, we made a little raised bed right there and um, started kind of picking things up so that we could get ready for hunting season to come in and uh, so that we could put a sign out and uh, sell some honey hopefully uh, Travis rigged I'll show you what this is because it kind of looks funky hanging on the wall um, rigged an oil drip so that we could run this heater with oil and he did use it all night one night and it worked fairly good uh, we've just got to get some used motor oil to burn but um anyways that is it thanks for watching please subscribe rate and comment y'all have a wonderful day bye bye